at noon, we have learned that a man who struck a D.C. bartender over the head with a glass is in the hospital and charged with a crime. Police think the same man is also responsible for sending a man in his 40s to the hospital in critical condition. John Gonzalez has the details on what led up to these, this chain of events. On what will be a busy Friday night on a Labor Day weekend, whether the doors will open up here at the Rendezvous Lounge is still up in the air. This was the startling scene at the Adams Morgan Bar early this morning. Great that people want to come here to have fun. Unfortunately, intoxication and, and other things lead to this kind of violence, which is just tragic. It was just before 2 o'clock a fight broke out in the upstairs bar area. A man was then shoved down a flight of stairs. He was critically injured with pints of blood gushing from a gash in his head. A part of the issue is a lot of it come because people from all the other areas find other things to do other than enjoy this. So. Employees spent hours cleaning up the place but shied away from our cameras and didn't want to talk about what happened. Police did interview a number of witnesses at the scene who saw the man lying near the front door. Yeah, I'm really sick of it. I'm sick of it. I know people have to have a place to go to enjoy themselves, but this is ridiculous. The man remains in grave condition this afternoon. The scene so gruesome here, the fire department had to come help hose it down. In the meantime, detectives are still trying to figure out if the victim in this case was part of this fight or was simply trying to break it up. This latest club assault in Adams Morgan comes just days after the reef up the street was closed after losing its liquor license. Another fight here on August 10th left the man injured after being stabbed. The nightlife is great, uh, and but the downside sometimes is, is the violence, and I, I wish there was some magic formula. In Northwest Washington, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.